Hey everybody, it's Matt Powers. I wanted to make a quick video and share something with you. Something we talk about in permaculture that often, you know, people just have trouble wrapping their minds around is condensation. And the fact that some trees are condensers for moisture. If you listen right now, it sounds like it's raining, but it's not. In fact, what's happening right now is there's a mist passing through, a thick, beautiful mist and it's condensing on the trees and the water as it condenses it actually gathers that and then brings it to the branch so we're looking at a condensing and a combining of moisture and then so it's 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 actually driving like through the dendritic patterns it's actually a a way of collecting the moisture and many people are like i get that but when it's so intense it doesn't make it all the way down the trunk. It starts dripping off before it gets to the trunk and goes run down the trunk and down into the roots. And that's what we're seeing today. That's what we're seeing right now. It's really refreshing out and it's a beautiful thing, you know, when, you, when you're outside and it's raining but you're not getting rained on. And this is a beautiful thing because it's like we might not necessarily have rain on the forecast, but we're getting the moisture that we need. We're getting the, the relief that our plants need. And uh, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a coastal phenomenon for the most part. Uh, of course, fog can you know, uh, occur many places, but uh, this is coastal fog, so it's very significant. And uh, just as we learn uh, from Bill Mollison, when he talks about the giant till trees on the Canary Islands and how they would have these giant trees that would bring enough moisture in for entire villages. It's understandable when you're here in the redwood forest and you're hearing <laughs> the mists rain down from the trees. So we could go in there and get wet or we could just stay out here and listen and stay dry. <laughs> Either way, condensation is amazing and it is a process by which we might not think to, to calculate uh, and, and it, because a lot of environmental science, a lot of ecology classes leave this out as a primary mechanism by which uh, precipitation happens. And so it's something that uh, is really, really powerful. It's something that is the reason why we have fog traps now, reason why people are collecting dew. It's significant. So I just wanted to share this with you and show you this beautiful lesson. <laughs> it's just playing out all around us all the time. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. I'm Matt Powers. Have a great day.